Hello kids. Welcome back to our science class. Today, we're going to talk about the habitat of animals. A habitat is simply the place where an animal lives. It's like their home. Just like we live in houses or apartments, animals also have special places that give them everything they need, food, water, shelter, and air. We'll explore different types of habitats and see which animals live there. Are you excited? Let's go! In this lesson, you will 1. Describe the different habitats of animals 2. Use a drawing or diagram to classify some Philippine animals based on their habitats 3. Make a list or table and classify some Philippine animals according to their habitats and characteristics. 4. Identify the body parts that help animals survive in their habitat. 5. Explain the importance of protecting and conserving the habitats of animals. All right, kids, let's do activity number one. A habitat refers to the natural environment where a plant or animal leaves reproduces and grows. It is a natural place that has all the basic needs that a living thing needs to survive. Diverse habitats nurture the different animals that have different needs and adaptations. There are basically three types of habitat. They are aquatic habitat, terrestrial habitat, and arboreal habitat. Terrestrial habitats are ones that are found on land, like forests, grasslands, deserts, shorelines, and wetlands. Terrestrial habitats also include man-made habitats, like farms, towns, and cities, and habitats that are under the earth like caves and mines. Examples of terrestrial animals include cats, ants, dogs, raccoons, spiders, kangaroos, tigers, lions, mice, bats, bulls, oxen, leopards, elephants, and many more. Here are the main types of terrestrial habitats. First, Forests are terrestrial habitats that sustain a variety of plants, from fruit-bearing trees to shrubs, herbs, and vines. These environments are rich in natural resources, creating an ideal home for a wide range of animals. Specifically, the Philippine rainforest is where the Philippine eagles, Philippine cobras, and wild boars are found. There are other animals that feed only on leaves and fruits, such as the Philippine mouse deer or pilandoc, the Palawan bear cat or binturong, the Visayan warty pig or baboy demo, and the Mindoro dwarf buffalo or tamara. Second type of terrestrial habitat is the grasslands. Grasslands are terrestrial habitats characterized by lower rainfall compared to forests. They are covered with grasses, serving as a primary food source for grazing animals, such as cows, goats, carabaos, and horses. 
These animals typically have flat teeth adapted for chewing grass. Third is the desert. The desert is a challenging terrestrial environment. It is intensely hot and dry during the day and very cold at night. It gets very little rainfall every year. Despite these harsh conditions, certain animals, such as camels and scorpions, thrive in this environment. Their bodies are adapted to the extreme temperatures and lack of water. The Philippines does not have a desert region. Last is the polar regions. The polar regions are found at the north and south poles of the Earth. These environments are extremely cold, being usually covered with solid ice or thick snow. That is why only a few animals, such as polar bears and penguins, live here. These animals have special body parts, such as thick layers of fur and skin, that allow them to survive the extreme temperatures. Special Class of Terrestrial Animals Terrestrial animals are grouped based on their behavior and the body parts they use to adapt to their habitat. Second type of animal habitat is arboreal habitat. Arboreal or tree-inhabiting animals like monkeys mostly have a stout body, strong muscles, and sharp claws. These characteristics allow them to climb trees. Tarsiers and Kalugo are other examples of arboreal animals found in the Philippines, mainly in Bohol and Leyte. The Tarsia, the second smallest primate in the world, has huge eyes and a distinct appearance. The Kalugo, also known as Philippine flying lemur, is a gliding mammal found in forests. Some arboreal animals, such as lizards, have special adhesive pads that help them hold on to walls and other surfaces. Fossorial or burrowing animals, such as rabbits and rats, have short limbs and strong claws. They use these parts for burrowing. Aerial or flying animals such as birds have wings or upper limbs. They also have hollow bones that make their bodies lighter. These characteristics enable them to fly. Aerial animals use their wings to cover long distances efficiently while searching for prey. By flying, they can survey their surroundings from above and spot potential food sources such as insects, small mammals, and fish. The third type of animal habitat is the aquatic habitat. Habitats whose mode of survival is in water are known as aquatic habitats. The habitats of plants and animals which lives in water are said to live in aquatic habitats. Fish and many other aquatic creatures breathe through their gills. On the other hand, some animals, such as dolphins and whales, use their lungs for breathing. Different animals inhabit different aquatic habitats, freshwater and saltwater. Examples of aquatic animals include fish, jellyfish, sharks, whales, octopuses, barnacles, sea otters, crocodiles, crabs, dolphins, eels, rays, mussels, and so on. Rivers, lakes, and streams are examples of freshwater habitats. It is within these habitats that freshwater fish, including goldfish and carp, thrive. Additionally, frogs, shrimps, and smaller creatures like worms and snails find their homes in freshwater. 
Freshwater environments serve as their shelter, source of food, and protection. In the Philippines, the freshwater habitats are home to many different types of aquatic animals. Some well-known freshwater animals found in the Philippines are the Mindoro crocodile, Lake Tall Snake, Philippine Sailfin Lizard or Liagon, Catfish or Hedo, and the Philippine Freshwater Turtle. Saltwater or marine habitats are considered the largest type of habitat on our planet. They cover the seas and oceans. Saltwater animals, such as whales, sharks, clownfish, squids, and jellyfish, have developed efficient mechanisms to remove salt from their bodies. Seaweeds, seagrass, and mangroves play essential roles by providing food and serving as breeding grounds for the different animals within this habitat. Since the Philippines is an archipelagic country with extensive coastlines and marine ecosystems, it is home to a wide variety of saltwater animals. Here are some well-known saltwater animals found in the Philippines, the whale shark or boo tanding, the sea cow or dugong, the giant clam or taclobo, the yellow-lipped sea snake, and the Philippine sea turtle. All right, kids, let's check out the diagram below. This will help us see the summary of what we learned in today's lesson. Activity number two, study the drawing. Use the illustration to identify and classify some Philippine animals based on their habitat. Write your answer in your notebook using a table. Let's do activity number three. Let's do activity number four.